A grand celebration calls for a fresh coat of paint at Louisa May Alcott's Orchard House in Concord. What's so special? 2018 marks the sesquicentennial of the publication of Little Women. I'm actually currently rereading it with my best friend, and so it was just really neat being able to come and see the historical house. Written here 150 years ago, never out of print, translated into 50 languages, so tried and true, Hollywood is making yet another movie of the classic. This one directed by Oscar winner Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig and the actresses, they, they've all come through multiple times asking questions, wanting to sort of absorb the house. They wanted the exact paint color. They've reconstructed the things that they can't do on site and they have been passionate about getting it right. There is no shortage of passion for Orchard House, says Executive Director Jan Turnquist. Visitors from around the world find their way here. It seems to speak to the heart of so many readers, no matter what their culture. The fact that you can come right into the rooms and feel as if the family has just left a moment ago. It's as close as they can come to meeting the author. Most notable and accessible is Louisa's writing desk. Bronson and Abigail May Alcott felt that their daughters should fulfill their own destiny. A desk of her own in another family would have been considered absolutely forbidden, and physicians supposedly had proved that brain work, such as writing, would destroy a woman's health. The Alcotts thought that was ridiculous. Bronson built Louise the desk, and Mrs. Alcott gave her a pen with a little note that said, may this pen your muse inspire when wrapped in pure poetic fire. Alcott, an educator, founded the Concord School of Philosophy and Literature here in his study. One year later, he built a lecture hall outside. The school is now slated for its Hollywood debut. The makers of this particular movie wanted so much to do some of the filming here. The School of Philosophy was going to work, they thought, for the school scene when Amy March brings pickled limes to school. A hundred and fifty years and still going strong. What would Louisa make of all the fuss? She really, I think, would be completely astonished that that could continue long after the publication of the book. 150 years, I think she'd be amused, pleased, and mostly amazed.